Give me the mic, everyone. This is a this is a big one. Oh boy. Get ready. There's other more important questions, you know, mm. like how did that happen? You know, you have to then take a step back and ask yourself why. And yeah, you can't, you know, we're, we're not here for polygamy. So mm. you gotta choose one or the other. <laughs> What's up guys, it's Ken Conklin. I'm here with my incredible girlfriend, Leah. And today we're gonna ask each other some juicy questions and get to know each other a little better. So be sure to like and subscribe and let's get right into it. Let's do it. Okay, so I'm gonna start off kind of mellow. Is it okay to have secrets in a relationship? I'd say no if it comes at the detriment of the other person or at the trust of the relationship. Okay. But I think a secret that is like, hey, a surprise that I'm gonna do on my girlfriend or a surprise my girlfriend's gonna do for me, I think that, you know, is definitely a total different game. I think it's pretty obvious when a secret should be held or not. <laughs> I agree, I agree. I, th I think there's certain, you know, if you, like you said, if you're surprising your partner, it's pretty important. I think if there is any, like you're not telling your partner something because you know that they're gonna have a certain reaction or you know that that's gonna have a certain effect on your relationship, I think then you need to start questioning you know if you are meant to be in that relationship if you are meant to be with that person you know if they're your person they should be able to hear all of your secrets all of your you know things that you don't want the world to know and still choose you 100 percent. oh yeah yeah you got any secrets you want to tell me about <laughs> maybe i do maybe i don't <laughs> all right let's go damn you got a lot of questions <laughs> and how do you describe our relationship i describe our relationship as fun it's a lot of fun but it's also stable at the same time i think that was one thing i felt going into the relationship and a really good word to describe it was stable secure safe you were the first man that i'd ever met that was you knew exactly what you wanted and you had decided that that was me and there was no two buts about it there was no more questions no more games it was all or nothing from the get-go and i think that has kind of yeah stayed the course throughout our relationship and we're both the same in that way so i would definitely say two words fun and stable <laughs> this is a really good one do you believe that you can be in love with two people at the same time is it possible? I think it's possible for people to, for sure. How would a second love be brought about? You know, you don't fall in love with someone by just bumping into them, right? If that is the reality someone's going through, I think there's a lot of other things to focus on rather than which one do I love more? It's like, well, hold on, you know. I don't know, that's a very interesting question. I've never really thought about that. There's other more important questions, you know, like how did that happen? Um, you know, are you allowing other relationships Oh, hello. Uh, are you allowing other relationships into your life when you, you know, other romantic relationships into your life when you shouldn't be? Yeah. Um, so yeah, I think it's definitely possible, but I do think that if it does happen, you know, you have to then take a step back and ask yourself why. And yeah, you can't, you know, we're, we're not here for polygamy, so you gotta choose one or the other. <laughs> What is something I'm not doing in our relationship that you would appreciate if I start? Transferring a million dollars into my account every Friday. On on the on the, like within at 12 noon, I want a million dollars every so, Friday. Yeah, I've been doing the bi-weekly because that's what I can afford right now. <laughs> and I understand that sometimes I'm a day late and I do apologize. I'm striving to, yeah. You know, be on the ball with that. What attracted you to me in the first place and has that changed? Your desire for adventure and how excited you get for life and living. You know, you're someone that wants to go do things, uh, but like in nature, yeah, you love, like I think all of us want to go do cool things, but what cool things to you are primarily revolving around earth mm -hmm. and nature. And I think that's so cool because you've helped me grow and appreciate earth and just the simple things about life you know but like living creatures that are the size of an ant you know mm -hmm. um, I got that sense from you the first time we started talking and I was very intrigued of wow I noticed that there's a lot of these areas that I just want to explore more and I want to be introduced to things that I could tell were just so native to you mm -hmm. yeah awesome the how about for me yeah yeah 
for you? The first thing that attracted me to you was definitely your um, ambition and I could hear that just in that initial conversation that we had at that coffee shop you had so much ambition but you were so hopeful as well filled with hope and filled with excitement and you know you had these goals and these visions and you you know in that initial conversation you had expressed that you recognized how far you had come and you were very confident in yourself, confident in you know the work that you've done, the progress that you've made up until that point, but you still knew that there was so much to come and you were so hopeful for the future. So I think that's something that really attracted me to you was just the the hope for a better tomorrow, this ambition, these goals, you know, this motivational attitude that you had and you could get walk into a room and just light up the room with it and get anyone to smile and have that hope just by speaking to them so that has not changed for sure I think the only thing that has changed is it's grown in size I think that appreciation and that attraction for that specific characteristic is yeah a lot bigger now than it was for sure give me the mic everyone this is a this is a big one. Oh boy. Get ready. Would you die for me? <laughs> yeah, I would definitely die for you. It, I would just definitely be in the headspace of let me do everything in my power to take out this opponent or whatever the situation was. I would definitely put you out of harm's way instantly for sure. Yeah. But I think I'm a good enough of a smooth talker to where if someone has a gun on me, I'm gonna, like put myself in front of them and tell That's you to like get away. Funny, the hilarious thing about Ken is he really truly believes he can talk his way out of anything and everything. So we've got a special guest, Angel, Leah's best friend since the age of three-ish. Three. You have a couple questions for us that you say are juicy and spicy. <laughs> Let's do. go find out what these questions are. I do. What topic do you find the most difficult to discuss with your partner and why? Hmm. Is this one for me or Leah? It's for both of you. Okay. It's hard. for both of you. I will, I will actually take this one first. I find it's so hard to talk about my flaws and areas that I could improve on or get better on. And I think it's like that for everyone. I mean, I, I'm very... Um, prideful and I think that that really affects you know my ability to take a step back have humility and say you know I did mess up and it's something that I learned you know through past relationships and through just growing up and going through life um, I did learn you know I had I was smacked in the face so many times with all that I had done wrong and you know the way that I'd acted and yeah and you have to ha kind of have that time of introspection and saying hey like these are the areas that I can get better but I must say I do still find it really challenging to put cards on the table and say I was wrong I messed up I'm like kind of take that it's very hard for me it's a bitter I'm not perfect it's a bitter <laughs> It's a You're pill to yeah. swallow. It's a very bitter pill to swallow that I'm not right all the time. <laughs> I think one thing that's been challenging for me that I think I've actually done a much better job recently, but um, you know, there'll be times when we first started seeing each other after maybe that first month or two where you know I need my alone time. It's not that I need to be alone from Leah. It's just like for me to kind of be in my right headspace and not bring like just I say not maybe it's an angry energy, but it's also just like it's frustration. It's, it's yeah, for sure. I just need to kind of like have that decompression time to fully be me and also remember like, hey, how do I want to show up, you know? And so I definitely failed with bringing the you know not vibrant and uh, you know welcoming energy around to Leah at times to where I realized like, okay, I need to prioritize time for myself to just if I'm like you know pissed off, go hit a bag or go work out and like do these hard things that I really love that maybe you don't love as much but are things that I know I need to do but the fact that we also get to do those things together that you and I get to have fun at the same time that we're getting our asses kicked such as when we did leg day today and kicked our own asses you know um yeah okay good answer Good answer. Good answer. I have a question for you. <laughs> for me? Okay. What is something <laughs> you've observed that Leah and I are incredible at and then something we need to improve at? 
This is a, that is a good Ooh, That's question. a two-handed question right yeah. there. So something that I've noticed that you guys are incredible at, Mm -hmm. And then the second part of that question, that's that we need to think about that. I must Because it's not so easy. But your communication... What do we do really well? What you guys do really well is your communication in terms of understanding each side. Because, you know, it's still a very new relationship. You guys are still getting to know each other. And you, you've been traveling the world. So you guys are really good at just taking a breather where you're at. Okay, how are you feeling? Are you okay? This is how I felt. And for you guys to understand how the other person is feeling. Mm. So your communication, and that's the biggest thing in a relationship to make it work, is communication. Mm. Yeah. So never hold back on that. Oh yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. The wind's getting crazy. Okay, should we wrap it up, folks? Yeah, so we have a final question. Ready? What sealed the deal for you towards me? What sealed the deal? That's a... Huh. Hmm. I think the fact that you were so sure was something that I really loved. It was something that I had said to my mother and my grand and my sister and anyone who wanted to listen before I met you was that I am looking for a man that is not half in, he's not half out, he doesn't have other things going on that are taking more of his time. I want a man that is for me and is sure that it's me because I'm going to be too. And I think, you know, that was something that was a huge attraction towards me as it wasn't like, let's wait a bit, let's see how we feel, let's, you know, you were so sure of what you wanted and you took it you you t and you expressed that to me and you said hey this is what I want where are you at like you know in, in, um, in terms of that and that for me was a big one um, I think another thing that also seal sealed the deal was your thirst for adventure that is what I absolutely loved about you is that you know I was looking for adventure and I was looking for fun and excitement and to wake up every day with a new horizon and have these different experiences and that was exactly what you wanted to. Yeah. Um, I will also say another thing that made me pretty sure it was kind of added on to the surety was us literally having the exact same life goals. I mean in terms of where we were heading, in terms of our end goal, in terms of our direction. Um, like those being so aligned and lining up so well, I was like, well, well, this, this is him. Yeah. <laughs> it's got to be. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Be sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.